Now, I request Isha and Ritika to display the annual report of the year 2022-23. Hey Isha. Hi Ritika. Are you studying for exams? Yes, I am. Oh, which is our first exam? Um, it's English and you know that English never leaves our back. Then what are we doing here today? Yes, are we not supposed to study for our exams? Yes, we are supposed to do that. So let's do some hands-on experience. All right. So here we are as the starters of the event, presenting the annual report for the academic session 2022 to 2023. So, so esteemed dignitaries and ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to this prestigious event of Manthan. I wonder how difficult the life of a student would be. Yes, but nowadays, Schools are leading towards student centricity, which helps them to enhance their competency-based skills, which the 21st century demands. Yes, even the students of our school have experienced skill-based learning, and they are mastering in it. Oh, what's that sound? Maybe I forgot to turn off I.I. Hello, I.I. Would you like to introduce yourself to the audience and brief us about the above topic? Hi. My name is Ayai. I'm your artificially intelligent personal assistant. We have talked about competency-based learning in school. It starts with the real-life applications of mathematics, such as the beauty of pi and measuring the height of the tree using trigonometry. Once more, the students learn about profit and loss through the grand event of the marketplace, where the students build upon their entrepreneurial skills. The pre-primary and the primary sections are introduced with skill-based assessment, where they are marked upon their gross and fine motor skills by activities like book balancing, fruit chart making, buttoning the shirt, tower making, making of a vein scale, growing of tap roots and fibrous roots, having fun learning in the nature, the vehicle parade, the coordination of the hand and eye, the feeling of being a king by making a crown, the making of seed bombs and bookmarks. Thank you, Ayai. Isha, there is a question that is running in my mind. What about communication skills? Are the students of MIT WPS really working on it? Oh, Ritika, are you kidding? The fact that we both are standing here and giving the annual report itself shows how passionate we are about communication-based learning. But why is it so important? If we do not give the annual report, how will you get to know that why are we here? By the way, audience, do you know that we both are a part of WPS editorial team and it has helped us in improving on our skills? Aye, aye. Can you please show us some pictures and brief us about it? Sure. To enhance on our communication skills, we use the repeated application of the Wordsworth, where the students are given assignments related to language and grammar. One more of a discussion going on are the panel discussions where the students and teachers discuss about the interesting current topics. The students of the WPS have formed an editing board known as the editorial team, wherein they edit, proofread, and create newsletters and annual reports. This helps them to get a hold of their communication skills and help enrich their language. The students are also starting to master managing the morning assembly by making the scripts and performing by themselves. Thank you, Ayai. Examples are the best way of learning. And it helps in boosting up the curiosity and learning by doing some activities. Ayai. Please provide us with some evidences. The students of the WPS 
are encouraged to go on educational trips, such as the trip to the Balewari Stadium in the memory of the great shooter, Major Dhyanchan, and as a way to pay respect to him. The students also learn professional shooting and math behind sports. The students of the pre-primary section were taken on a trip to the Reliance Mart to learn the concepts of expense management. Thank you, II. How many of us know that IISER is located in Pune? Oh, Visha, IISER, such a difficult abbreviation to learn just before the CBSE board exams. II, could you please help us with it? The IISER, or the Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research. The students got the chance to visit the IISER and meet the scientists and use the laboratories. This was indeed a great chance to build onto their scientific temperament. Thank you, II. School, books, classrooms, studies, are these the only things happening in our school? Aye, aye, don't we have something interesting to do? I'm not sure I understand. We mean that nothing musical or instrumental? Oh, now I get it. The students got the chance to meet the renowned personality of Padmashri Talayogi Suresh Tarvarkar, a famous tabla player, and interact with him. Have students of MIT WPS ever visited to any exhibition? Oh yes, even I have heard about the exhibition named Spectrum on Facebook. Oh, Visha, Spectrum. Again, a difficult word. Let's just simply ask this to II. One more of an event of the Spectrum was to exhibit the informative creations of the students that is a thematic exhibition. The students displayed art about AI, nature, traffic, and general daily activities. This event was solely handled by the students only. The true definition of a student-centric school. Thank you, II. Ritika, are the students of MIT World Peace School uh, focusing on social causes? Yes, I've heard that our school has started the policy of no plastic use in school. Then let's ask this information to II. For the social criteria of development, our school has helped the environment by committing to the no plastic policy and collecting the plastic trash from the nearby hill and taking a step further towards environmental protection. Thank you, II. Isha, is Raksha Bandhan only about tying rakis on your brother's wrist? No, it is much more than that. Let's ask II about this. Apart from the environment, the students have shown the emotion of love and humanity by celebrating the Raksha Bandhan with the police officers to create a pure bond at the Digi police station. Thank you, II. Isha, is there any culture prevailing in our school? Yes, we live in Alandi. Of course we know about our culture. II, could you please show us some glimpses of it? Our culture starts with our teachers. The, student, the teachers do so much for the students. And as a way to repay them, the students planned and executed a special surprise assembly to express their gratitude. In the form of devotion towards Lord Krishna, we had the Dahi Handi celebration on the school campus and the students enjoyed watching the plays performed by the students dressed up as Radha and Krishna. Ganesh Chaturthi is the biggest festival in Maharashtra. The staff and students welcome Lord Ganesha with great enthusiasm by playing the drums, tashas, and lesson. 
The students also made Ganesha idols using Sharumati in an attempt to be eco-friendly. The WPS students celebrate culture every year by celebrating the Palki celebrations. We are in the spiritual location of Alandi, where we can witness the Valkyries migrating to meet the Lord Vithal. The festival of Christmas was celebrated by listening to the stories of the great Jesus and his teachings. The students met Santa Claus and played Secret Santa too. Thank you, Ai Ai. Ritika. Oh, Isha, please pause. Don't you think it's getting too much? Are you stressed? There are thousands of things that are not mentioned by Ai Ai because we have less time. Oh, is it? But to be honest, I'm a bit stressed out. Ai Ai, are there any ways of managing stress? To nurture the emotional corner in the students, the management of the WPS arranges one-to-one -one counseling sessions and online sessions for the parents as well, in which we can open our hearts out to our full-time counselor, Ms. Dipali Rao's ma'am. Thank you, Ai Ai. We're standing here since long time. Aren't you tired? Yes, I'm a bit tired. So do you exercise every day? Um, not every day, but sometimes I do. As we have our board exams coming up very, very soon, I do not get much time to do that. But at WPS, it is made sure that every student is taught about the importance of fitness. Aye, aye. Could you show us the fitness journey, please? Sure. The infrastructure of our school is worth noticing and appreciation because of the wonderful amount of open space in the campus to play around and get fresh air. In this huge campus, the 75,000 Surinamaskaras were performed on the occasion of the yoga day. The students get a chance to build on to their sports skills by participating in the PSA activities where they can play various sports such as skating, basketball and much more. The WPS Olympics, the inter-school competition was held in this campus itself. And guess what? WPS was the winner. Journeys such as walkathon resembling the Dandi March, in which the students walked on foot for two kilometers in the area of Alandi to promote peace, unity, and fitness. Thank you, Ai Ai. I am speechless to see how the students of WPS are multifaceted. If there is no competition, there is no progress. Yes, I believe so. Even the students of our school are already in a, mind, a competitive mindset. Aye, aye, could you show us what competition the students have excelled in? The students have been to IIT, the prestige organization everyone wants to visit. Three students from the senior classes got selected in the Young Innovators Program 2022, where they exhibited the project on water resource management and secured sixth position among 1,100 applicants. The GEMS Literary Fest was an international level competition. The students have been awarded with two exemplary awards and were recognized for the first time. It gave the students a diverse exposure for mastering and acquiring skills in various forms of literature. The WPS organization was proud to announce the 100% result of the class 10th in the session 2021-22. The International Youth Fest was another fest in Lucknow where the students participated in the making of digital comic for the first time and secured the first consolation prize. The Dark Project, organized by the Ministry of Education Government of India, in which the students explored their creativity by making board games and exploring about the freedom struggle of India over 75 years.
the Arya Bhatta Ganit Challenge was held all over India. And three students of our school came under the top 100 in the Pune region. This shows the command of mathematics that the children possess. National Heritage was a quiz about Indian history organized by the Heritage Shala, wherein we got zonal and state rankers. Pratibhaki Khoj or the Hunt for Talent was another quiz about Indian history, for which we got regional winners. We had the students from the junior grades who ranked first in the International Olympiad. The students were Drishya Gule, Ritwik Patil, Ritwik Gaikar, Ansh Kalje, Gauri Ukirde, Nikhat Sayyad, Anaika Bagadia, and India Pawar. The 16th Fazli Abbas Memorial International Interschool Fest took place in Aurangabad. The students achieved the trophy for the most friendly team and being the only team participating in all the events. Thank you, Ayai. Aisha, I always wonder why teachers always encourage us to learn. Do they even follow the same? Yes, they do. Even I have heard that teachers also learn and participate in many events. But we were not present in any of them. So let us get this information from my eye. The teachers are also enthusiastic about learning, like the students, and have participated in the International Teachers Olympiad and have secured positions in the top 10 and top 30 percentile. They have also shown exemplary performances in the WPS Prime Summit and received awards such as the Savitri Bai Phule Award and the Arabhata Award. Wonderful to hear about our teacher, teachers. So both of us and our II have summed up life at WPS pretty much. Oh wait, but what about the life of WPS outside the school gate? Oh, I, I, could you please help us with it? Oh, why I is not responding to us? Oh, its battery is running low. Let me put it on charge. Hi, my name is I, I. I'm your artificially intelligent personal assistant. Hello, I, I. How is the life of WPS outside the school gate? Our director principal, sir, Mr. Abhishek Bakshi, has achieved the Edge of India K-12 Award under the category of Excellence in Sport Education and Skill Development Programs. Sir was also invited as the guest speaker in the 10th National Conference on the Future of Education, Data and AI, hosted by BrainFeed. And our school was ranked in the top 500 schools in India. Indeed, a great achievement. Thank you, II, for the much needed information. Life at WPS is mesmerizing and beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, having talked about the past and the present, I, Ms. Rutika Gola, and I, Ms. Isha Rati, would take responsibility to show you the future of WPS. Regarding future, we have got some questions to ask to our principal, sir. So, aye, aye, could you please make a call to him? Calling principal, sir. Good evening, principal, sir. We have got some questions to ask. So, my first question is, which, what are the initiatives you would like to take in the next academic session? First of all, welcome to this grand show. All the participants, my dear students, I wish you all the best for today. I sincerely thank Aditi Ma'am and Rahul sir for guiding us, for being the mentor and inspiring us to conduct an event of this scale. Our parents, you are a real superstar today. Your support was required and your support was always there with us. Thank you so much. I really, really thank my gratitude goes to the chief guest who is present today. Coming back to your question, Ritika and Isha, what are the new initiatives that are coming up in the session 22-23? Yes, there are a lot of grand plans. Some of them I can reveal, some of them can be a little bit of secret. 
Out of the grand plans, definitely I promised my parents I'm going to create a very sophisticated high-end lab makerspace for developing students' science and technology and engineering mindset. We already had our students representing school in the highest level of national and international level and winning prizes. To do the justice, we're going to create the makerspace lab in the coming session for sure. In addition to that, we are definitely definitely is going to give more, more stress on the communication part. For that, we got some grand plans in improving communication and you students are doing superb already. The example is today, the program that you are doing. We are going to expand our skill-based initiative and skill-based learning and do more experiential learning, take the students onto the field and they will be experiencing form joy by doing and not by learning from the books only. Over to you, Isha and Ritika. Any other question for me? The next question is, are there any exciting news in the upcoming years? Now, that is a very interesting question. Yes, uh, exciting. Yeah, definitely. There will be a lot of exciting events coming up and exciting initiative coming up from the students. Definitely the marketplace that they did, one of our favorite events is going to be big. And this time, someone who is doing really good in marketplace, the top five maybe will be projected in a platform or like a shark tank where they can actually present their items for a um, far, far more scalable product. That is going to be a very exciting thing, no doubt. In addition to that, we are even planning to take the students outside in some outside Pune, outside Maharashtra, in some camp where they actually learn the livelihood of people from different parts of India. And they learn from that and can plan creating some kind of sustainability model for them. It will be some kind of rural places where they can go and make the camp. This is the actual experiential learning. There are more coming, but let some of them be the suspense, right? Yes. Next question. Where would you like to see MIT WPS in the next 10 years? Oh, that is interesting. World Peace School in 10 years. That's a long term. But 10 years, the whole education system is going to get disrupted a lot. You know, artificial intelligence is coming up. I dream of my students developing those artificial intelligence bots which can be an assistant to the teachers just like what we are having now they will be the assistant to our teachers they will be helping the teachers in developing curriculum so what i aspire for is like the students the parent community and the teachers will be a co-scholar a co-author of the curriculum and they will decide everything each and everything which is happening in the school that kind of environment I'm talking about, where the students create their own question paper. They create their own assessments. They don't depend on teachers to create an assessment. That kind of world, that kind of school that we dream of, where the student really, really taking their ownership of learning and create the perfect student agency. I am sure World Peace School, under the guidance of our mentors and the leaders and management, definitely is going to, you know, travel that journey and reach that summit. I'm 100% sure of it. And you students, you give me this confidence. I learn from you more than you learn from me. That's what the motto that we have in our life. Thank you very much. Thank you parents for coming. Thank you, enjoy the show. Thank you so much, sir, for answering to our questions. After listening to this, we can say that our future is in safe hands. And that's a wrap. The, the annual report of the academic, academic year 2022-23. Thank you so much, parents, for your cooperation and patience. We'll meet next year once again.